What's going on YouTube? So you probably don't need me to tell you that the Lexus RX is a very, very popular luxury SUV. As a matter of fact, it spent most of the 20 plus years since it first debuted, dominating the sales chart as the best selling luxury vehicle, period. Needless to say, this all new 2023 RX is a really big deal, which is why we're excited to be in Santa Barbara, California today to fully test it out for the first time. So is this RX 500HS Sport Performance the ultimate RX ever made? Let's go ahead and find out. So when you first walk up to this next generation RX, I think it's pretty obvious right off the bat that this is an all new model. Of course, Lexus is gonna keep a lot of the same design characteristics that the RX has always had, but it does also have a very fresh look. And I think that's most noticeable up here in the front. So let's take a look at our grille. As you can see, we've got a new look. And one of the big things that Lexus has done with the new generation is kind of integrated the grille more into the overall aesthetic of the vehicle. Previously, you had very hard boundaries around the spindle grill. Now it kind of blends together. One of those ways is the fact that we have this lip that kind of goes over into the grill, um, finished in, of course, the body color. And then with the F-Sport Performance model, you can see we've got the aggressive black mesh. So this kind of blends in. Once again, as you can see, it doesn't really have a border along the side and has a very aggressive look. Going along with that, you also have more aggressive lower elements through here, so you've got the black panels over here, as well as these black elements along the bottom. Let's also talk about the lighting. Lexus has a very signature look when it comes to lighting. You have uh, that signature on the all new version. You've got the Arrowhead daytime running light going through there. These are the triple beam LED headlights. So you've got the three beams and you've got your LED turn signal indicator. And then furthermore, you also find the LED fog lamps down here on the bottom. So when it comes to the F-Sport performance, you are going to have the most aggressive wheel um, available. As you can see, what we have is a 21 inch alloy wheel. We've got a matte black finish on board, which I think looks really, really nice when you contrast it with this brand new color for the entire Lexus brand called Copper Crest. As you can see, a really unique look to this. I love the pearl that they have inside of it. And um, like I said, new to the entire Lexus brand, not just the RX. Now, let's go back uh, down here. As you can see, the uh, wheels, or excuse me, the tires, these are also summer performance tires with the 500H performance. Got your F-Sport branding. We've got the full black look here on the mirrors, which I do like, very uh, sleek looking. They're gonna be fully loaded with all the features too. So we've got the heating, power folding, auto dimming, and blind spot monitoring. All right, guys, so let's talk about the side of this all new RX. I know you're really eager to see the rear design, but let's go ahead and discuss a few things here at the side first. So in terms of your overall length for this all new model, you're looking at 192 and a half inches, which actually does mean that we have a two inch larger wheelbase for this all new RX model. Uh, I do want to point out, though, that Lexus has actually reduced both overhangs uh, by two inches. So that is an interesting element that the wheelbase is longer, but the overhangs are actually a lot shorter for this all new model. Now, in terms of the design, though, uh, we do have a very signature Lexus RX design. One of the most signature elements has got to be this floating roof design that, of course, debuted on the last generation model. And that's going to continue for this all new model as well. We do also have black trim on our door handles, as well as smoked chrome on all of our window surrounds for this 500 F Sport performance model. Additionally, we also have body color lower moldings for this top end performance RX. Now moving around to the rear design of this RX 500H. This is a really nice design. I love the way this looks and we're also going to have a lot of new elements that bring it in line with the most modern Lexus products. So breaking down some of those design elements. First of all, I want to point out that we have a rear wiper hidden underneath of the spoiler here. So that's a nice premium touch. You don't have a big ugly wiper stuck here at the bottom of the window. 
We also have Lexus spelled out across the back. That's the new signature design theme for all the Lexus products. And we're also gonna have the full length LED taillights as well. These are beautiful taillights. They've really just done a phenomenal job with designing these and making them fit with the overall uh, look of this vehicle. All of the accenting is gonna be full LED and it goes across the entire back as I mentioned earlier. We have an LED amber turn signal indicator. We also have an LED brake light and LED reverse lights, so full LED. Dropping down, we have our RX500H badging. We also have Direct 4 badging. And then down here at the lower area, you will notice no exposed exhaust outlets on any RX model. That said, the 500H F Sport Performance is going to kind of aggressive make this uh, rear diffuser area more aggressive than some of the other versions of the RX. Now the RX has always been a luxury vehicle that focused on safety for you and anyone else riding in the vehicle. So they have increased that even more so for 2023. So they're including Lexus Safety System 3.0. Uh, so that's going to include a vast array of safety systems as standard equipment. Uh, in addition to your normal ones that were standard equipment on the previous generation RX, which would have been Ford emergency braking with pedestrian detection, auto high beams, lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control. Now the new features for the 3.0 system include a curve management system for the adaptive cruise, as well as an auto braking system to avoid turning in front of oncoming traffic or pedestrians. Now finally, we do also have a traffic jam assist function that works at speeds under 25 miles per hour and on highways that will allow for hands-free driving, which is actually what you'll see on the inside when we look at the steering wheel, you'll see a little sensor that monitors to make sure you're still paying attention. Now, as far as your warranty information, you're gonna have Lexus's signature warranty, which is a pretty, a pretty good one. Four year, 50,000 mile basic warranty, six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty, and you're also gonna get the two complimentary maintenance visits covered by Lexus. But guys, that's gonna wrap up the exterior design of this RX 500H F Sport Performance. As you can see, it's a very bold design. I'm excited to show you what's on the inside, so let's go ahead and get into that. Alrighty, let's go ahead and climb into this all new cabin and give it a look. Of course, as soon as you step inside here, you're gonna notice it is very different from the outgoing generation. There's a lot of new stuff on board and I'll go ahead and close up the door here and let Mason climb into the back seat and we'll take a look at all that this new RX has to offer. First and foremost, we have to start up the vehicle itself. Here is your signature Lexus key that you can see. And we'll fire it up. Now, like always, I do want to start off the video by talking about your material and your color choices. Um, in terms of over here at your seats, we do have the black seat. Um, you also have the availability of a red leather seat. Um, and we got the suede insert. Obviously, we do have thicker bolsters uh, for that nice aggressive feel with the F Sport model. And let's look around the cabin. I do want to um, asterisk that this is a pre production model, it's a very early model, so not everything is 100% um, exactly as it might be um, when the full production version goes on sale at the end of this year. But taking a look up here, soft touch plastic along the top, as you can see, we've got this suede piece that runs from the upper dash and that seamlessly goes over here into the door trim while also integrating in your speaker grill so um, right through there that's what that looks like you do have a soft touch plastic along the top aluminum on this model through there a leatherette and again you'll find that same aluminum trim runs down this console with the leather padding down the side and a good solid feel now taking a look over here at our technology on board, you are going to notice we have a uh, mostly digital gauge cluster there. Um, that display is about eight inches. And then you do also have the head up display. Um, this one is just like with the NX, you've got a lot of different functions. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like you might be able to see it, but you do have a lot of different functions up there in the head up display, which you can reconfigure using the uh, touch sensitive buttons here on the steering wheel. As far as the steering wheel itself, nice leather wrap steering wheel. This is the latest Lexus design. We do have F Sport branding. You've got the color contrast stitching through there with perforated leather. And we do have paddle shifters on board as well. 
As far as the steering wheel itself, it is going to be power adjusting. We also have our memory seats located now over here on this panel underneath of the vent instead of over on the door trim. Well, let's go ahead and take a look around at interior storage. So we do have the uh, glove box here that opens from both sides, excuse me, center console. And taking a look inside, we've got some felt lining. Uh, we don't have any of the USBs or anything inside of this. The USBs are actually gonna be located up here. So as you can see, we've got two USB ports right here in the front, nice little shelf you can stick your phone. And then you have a, quite a lot of additional storage when you slide back that piece of aluminum. This is a deep bin and that's got two more USBs. So that's four USBs for those of you keeping count. And you also have the wireless phone charging pad built in right there as well. Now, as we kind of slide back here to the shifter, this is the uh, latest electronic style from the Lexus brand. You've seen this in the NX. Um, so operation means you're going to push to the left and then you pull back. That's how you get into drive. Like I already mentioned, you have the paddle shifters if you go into the manual mode. To go into reverse, you'll do the opposite. And when you do, you see a 360 degree camera system pop up. As you can see, we do have active trajectory on board. You've got your overhead view. And just like with other Lexus products, you press this button, you can go into your 360 degree perimeter scan where you can kind of see this graphic which cycles around, shows you any obstacles and things that are around the vehicle. Now, kind of looking back here at the dashboard, we've got uh, a new vent design here. It's kind of multi-part in the sense that this section seems to be blowing more upwards. This kind of section blows downwards. And then you've got a lot of different functions inside of this display. So I want to go ahead and kind of focus attention up here to this because this, of course, is a very big part of the upgrade from the previous generation model. So this is a 14 inch display. This is running the new Lexus interface system. So once again, this is a, a nice feature that's came over from the NX, um, giving you the latest technology. As you can see, the bottom section is going to be dedicated to the climate controls. So these knobs are kind of built into the display itself. You can change your temperature, of course, through there. You can take physical control with some of those functions. And you also have some additional functions, including like the climate concierge, which takes all the functions of the vehicle, including heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, all that stuff um, into consideration automatically. And those are going to be those functions there with your three-stage heated seats, your three-stage ventilated seats, and your three-stage, uh, two-stage heated steering wheel. Now, taking a look at the built-in navigation system, as you can see, you've got nice graphics on board. You do also have wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay abilities, as you would expect. When I press into the little car button there, you can see how your power is flowing between the battery and the engine in this hybrid system. And this is also where I'll find some additional functions, including a drive mode select, which was uh, a feature that I was looking for earlier and could not find. Now, as we rise up from that, you will find an auto dimming mirror. You've got your three home link universal remotes built into it. And also, if you flip that switch, this is a rear camera system. So that does cut out all the back obstructions with your passengers, cargo, whatever might be blocking your best view. You do have a sunglass holder up top, touch sensitive LED lighting. And then when you really want the cabin to be nice and bright, press that button and you're going to find this gigantic panoramic sunroof open right up. As you can tell, the sunshade is power. It is fully blacked out when it's closed. Once you open that up, you can also open up the front panel to let in fresh air. All right, guys, so I'm sitting back in the rear seat of this all new RX 500H F Sport Performance. And this, of course, is a very nice place to spend time. Now, unfortunately, this is a very early drive of this RX 500H. Uh, it won't be on sale until later this year. So Lexus has not fully confirmed all the specifications or specifications and features on this model. So I won't have any of that information to share with you. That said, we do know that it is larger, quote unquote, larger than the previous generation RX. So uh, 
that of course is going to mean you have a lot of space. As you can see, I'm five foot nine. This seat is adjusted to Drew's position. I'm looking at probably six and a half to seven inches of legroom. My feet can easily slide up underneath the seat. So certainly a lot of space and comfort has been emphasized for this RX model. Now, as far as some of the features on this particular tester, we do have vents here in the middle. We're also gonna have our own climate control. So we have our own uh, set of climate for the rear. So that does mean that we have three zone climate for this RX 500H. We're gonna have USB ports on both of the sides of the rear seats. And a big feature about this all new model is that it does have available heated and ventilated uh, second row seats. You can get those on particular trim levels of this all new RX so you can have both heating and ventilation, which is a first for the RX. Now, go ahead and fold down the center armrest. We do have nice cup holders inside. We can pop this open. There's a little bit of storage in here, maybe even enough storage to fit our coupons inside. And then turning over to your door trim, we do have a nice one on this RX. So we have a nice padded material on the upper part. Um, we do have a really nice, like, uh, suede material through this uh, area here as well. It also has like some embossing inside. I think it kind of looks like that pleated stuff that they offer on the LS. It gives it a very premium vibe. We also have a speaker grill integrated into there. Then if we drop down to the lower areas, we have a nice leather padded armrest. It's very nice to just rest your arm against. And I also want to point out that you have the electronic door handles that we've seen on stuff like the all new NX. So not a traditional door handle. You just have that little button that you push to let yourself out. And we're also going to finish it off with some bottle storage down in the bottom. Now let's go ahead and walk up to the cargo area for this all new RX. Now, of course you do have a hands-free kick tailgate offered on this all new model. Uh, so we do have that on this. So let's go ahead and kick under the bumper to open it up. That is not working. It clearly is sensing my foot, but. So we'll just go ahead and open it up uh, manually since the kick function isn't working. Do keep in mind these are pre-production RX models and maybe there's a setting that I don't have turned on properly on this particular model. We are on a little bit of a limited time frame since this is a national press introduction. Now, like I mentioned for the cargo area, we don't have full specifications on any of the RX models yet. Lexus is still working out all those details and we will hopefully have a full week to spend with this all new RX back home in Lexington where we can cover all those nitty gritty details. That said, we do expect this all new model to be larger than the outgoing RX, which was sitting around 32 cubic feet behind uh, the second row seat. So uh, we do have a lot of uh, space back here, um, very class competitive. And as far as some of the features that you're gonna get, we do have a nice carpeting along the floor. As you can see, we have a really fancy F Sport branded uh, floor mat right here. If we lift those up, you're gonna find a spare tire. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a spare tire up underneath of there. And then on to our left side here, we have these buttons, which will electronically release the second row to be fully folded down. As you can see, the seats do fold 60-40 split on this model. And we have seen on other RX testers here today that there is a full power second row offered on this model, as well as a 12, 120 volt household style outlet here on the right side. And one thing that I also want to mention is that this new tailgate, it now opens three seconds faster than the previous generation RX. Now for your passenger seat, we do have a power adjusting passenger seat, as you would expect. This is a luxury SUV. It's a very comfortable seat and we do even have the two-way lumbar support. No memory seats for the passenger side though. Now, as far as the glove box is concerned, if we pop that baby open, we have a nice felt lined glove box inside of here. It's very spacious. It could definitely be big enough to fit our coupons in. And then up top, we do have a sun visor. We have some paper on this one telling us it's a pre-production vehicle. But as you can see, we do have a nice mirror and we're also gonna have some LED illumination as well. All right, guys, and now let's go ahead and talk about the powertrain of this RX 500 F Sport Performance. This, of course, is a highlight for this particular model because that's really why you would get it, is because this is gonna be the most powerful RX ever. So we're looking at a 2.4 liter turbo four-cylinder engine. So that's what you would get in something like the RX 350. Uh, we do add some hybrid componentry onto it. So we're looking at 366 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque as our power figures. 
Now that of course does make this the most powerful RX ever made, um, and that does also mean that this should be the fastest RX ever made. Now mated to that you do have a standard direct four all-wheel drive system. Um, I can't talk about a lot of the specifics of this because we do have a driving impression embargo. And speaking of that embargo, uh, it will be September the 9th at 6 a.m. Eastern time. So if you wanna see how this new RX 500 HF Sport Performance drives, which there's a lot to see there, come back to the channel September 9th at 6 a.m. Go ahead and mark it in your calendars because there's gonna be a lot of content coming up on that day. So you won't wanna miss out on that. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this in-depth look at the all new 2023 Lexus RX 500H F Sport Performance. This of course is a beautiful vehicle finished in this new copper color and we're very excited to be out here in Santa Barbara, California testing this out so early. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please be sure to pay us back by hitting that subscribe button down below. We would truly appreciate it. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram while we have other forms of content and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.